Every young person should have a practical entrepreneurial experience before leaving compulsory education. This is the goal that the European Commission has set for the Member States. What if half of the entire student population had a practical experience in setting up a mini-company while still in school? What would the individual and wider societal impact be? This is just one of the questions addressed by the Innovation Cluster for Entrepreneurship Education. The ICE project tested what the scenario looks like when reaching 50% of the students and analyzed the impact by looking at learning outcomes, hindrances and drivers, community effects. 25 academic and vocational schools in Italy, Belgium, Estonia, Finland and Latvia participated over two years. 12,000 people responded to pre- and post-surveys and 150 people were interviewed. Many research projects have demonstrated the short and long-term impact of entrepreneurship education. Previous studies have shown that investing in entrepreneurship education leads to greater entrepreneurial intention and higher startup rates, greater employability and higher perception of one's capacity to succeed. The European Commission has recently launched the Entricom framework, a tool to support a common understanding of entrepreneurship as a competence. Many companies are a case in point, they stimulate creativity, teamwork and self-confidence. Students learn to mobilize resources to turn their ideas into action. There is little information, however, about the impact that such experiences have on students' learning outcomes, attendance and their motivation for school. The ICE research design has advantages compared to previous impact studies. All the competences of the Entricom framework are analysed to see how a practical entrepreneurial experience can help students develop and grow key competences in addition to impacting school motivation and attendance. The ICE research involves all possible target groups and the sample is large enough to obtain robust and comparable data and to draw relevant conclusions. The presence of control groups allows the comparison of participants with non-participants and gives the possibility to isolate and well document the effect of entrepreneurship education. Parents sent a positive message about entrepreneurship education. They favour methods based on real experiences like the mini companies and they were very satisfied with the practical and non-theoretical way of learning that the company programme offered to the students. Parents appreciated the possibility for their children to learn transversal skills such as creativity and teamwork and to change their attitudes towards school by becoming more responsible and confident about their own capabilities. However, parents felt uninformed about the big picture, including the learning process and the individual assessment. We need more information about the company programme and its pedagogical approach, they said. Only by being properly informed can parents really act as a positive driver for entrepreneurship education in school. Teamwork and cooperation were reported as the most important assets in the project-based learning. Teachers gained a closer, more respectful relationship with the students and they highlighted the pedagogical advantages of this way of learning. However, the majority of teachers reported that they are not familiar enough with the different concepts and working methods related to entrepreneurship education. Teaching entrepreneurship requires that they adopt a more competence-based approach. Newcomers among teachers especially felt insecure. Teachers need high-quality training before teaching entrepreneurship. And when they teach entrepreneurship, they need to reflect on their practices together with their colleagues and feel supported by the school leadership. Business people fear that both school managers and teachers have inadequate knowledge about entrepreneurship. More cooperation is key moving forward. 
They pointed out that schools can do more to ensure access to business people and entrepreneurs who can provide training and support in entrepreneurship education. And they think neither the national nor the local government has made entrepreneurship education a priority. The cooperation between the education system and the labour market needs to be strengthened. More support and acknowledgement from education ministries on the value of entrepreneurship education would push it forward faster in Europe. The ICE findings confirm the positive impact of entrepreneurship education on students' skills and competences and show that students involved have higher school motivation, improve their overall performance and have a better relationship with their teachers. Higher exposure is correlated with better results. Students spending 100 hours or more in the company programme during a year are far more influenced by the programme than those spending less time. Attraction to entrepreneurial activities and having the knowledge to do so is a measurement of entrepreneurial intention, a predictor of someone becoming an entrepreneur in the future. A significant proportion of those students with 100 hours or more reported having the necessary knowledge and skills to start and run a new business and they preferred self-employment to employment more often. The same significant difference between participants and non-participants was found in several competencies such as commitment, ability to coordinate activities, decision-making, presentation, taking initiative, leadership, managing timelines and projects. In many countries, there are concerns about dropouts from the school system. There is a close link between dropping out and motivation and effort. The ICE research looked at the connection between students participating in the company programme and their level of motivation and effort at school. Motivation is an important driving force for learning and it has a strong impact on students' behaviour in school. Those with high activity in entrepreneurship education had significant higher scores on motivation. They also reported that they put more effort into their schoolwork. Students with 100 hours or more of entrepreneurial learning had significantly higher scores when assessing their interest in school activities. They also had higher scores on the amount of effort put into their schoolwork. This can affect their learning and academic performance in a positive way. The mini-company experience also allows students to work in a practical way with various subjects. The ICE research found that students with high activity in their mini-companies have a higher grade point average. This indicates that the mini-company is a well-adapted teaching method for promoting learning in different subject areas. Cygnus presence refers to going to school despite illness. Students with high entrepreneurial activity reported that they had more Cygnus presence episodes. When asked about motives for attending school while ill, several refer to their interest and commitment towards their mini-company work. There are three key beneficial aspects of mini-companies. One, they involve practical learning situations. Two, students work in teams and distribute responsibilities. Three, there is a close cooperation with the teachers. The ICE research demonstrates that when students are allowed enough time to work in their mini company, this participation can be very useful. Some students increase knowledge and develop skills that are useful for entrepreneurship, and some students become more motivated for school, attend school more often, and learn subjects in a new way. <laughs>